Okay guys, today we've got the genuine John Deere RE544394 fuel filter. John Deere made in the US of A. Manufactured for John Deere, so gonna probably be a Donaldson one. What we got? This one's already been open, which it's actually got a hole in it, but that'll still be fine and cut open and see what we reckon. Come wrapped up, sealed in plastic. Nice to see. Don't get anything in there. All nice and John Deere. So this is a fuel filter and a water separator. So the top part of its filter, but it's also got an empty part where the water collects, drain the water. It's a final fuel filter. So most John Deere tractors, they've got at least two fuel filters. This is a final filter, so it's a two micron filter and water separator. First one will be a water separator and a bit of a higher micron. Made in US of A instructions there. So they've got the plastic drain valve. So when it's on the machine, you can undo that. And that allows the water to drain out of it. Or some of them now have a another see-through water bowl that goes on the bottom screws into that socket there standard drain valve they got no ring in there you can get sensors that go in the place of this as well not a bad thread just standard things fair few threads in there these go on the specialized John Deere housings they've got these certain holes they line up, they fit up in. And then these locating tabs put it in the right spot so it's not there, there or there. And then they do up the big nut that goes around the outside and holds it on. Really big. Solid. Ceiling in there. It's nice and soft. I wouldn't say it's silicon, but nice and soft rubber. It's actually got a a lip there so that it stays in the filter. Doesn't get doesn't come out or that's and that's actually quite nice indeed. Clips in there and really really solid indeed. Get this open and see what we've got in there. Right, we've got them cut open. Cut around the edge there. So, uh, little bit flimsy canister, but fuel filter and it does the job. You can see where that metal piece is crimped into the bottom there. Nothing really special there. There's no spring or nothing because it doesn't go all the way. So you can see. Don't know if you can see that all. But that filter doesn't go all the way to the bottom. There's an empty space where the water can sit. So I've got the synthetic media. You can already see all the fibers in there. Certainly a decent amount of glue in there. It's gonna be it's got some sort of a feels like a plastic center tube down in there. It's got a bit of grip on it, almost feels sort of like rubber down in the other end 
tube doesn't actually hold the filter in the middle. Sort of just. Well, there's a O-ring on on there in the inside on the top of that tube, so it must seal into the intake. Oh, the yeah, the intake, the output of the. Now that would be the input of the filter, because that would go in there, down the bottom, then out and around. And in through the rest of it, which is then sealed by this sealing ring. It's a really interesting construction. And that filter media goes all the way up to the top there. I'm not really quite sure how I might even be able to cut that out. There we go, see what I can do get this apart and have a closer look at it. So I've got the filter apart somewhat. There's obviously a lot of media up in there that I can't can't quite reach. It's not a terrible load in there. I would say it was about 1.7 meters long in terms of the width. Sort of looking at about a hundred mil, but to me it is quite interesting. It's different to the hydraulic filter media in a lot of other John Deere's. It's diff obviously different fuel filter, not a hydraulic filter. Tore when I was taking it out very easily, and it doesn't have any mesh backing, but it's meant to be two micron, which is very small comes apart in here. Looks, looks quite similar to Fleet Guard Stratopore, but I'm not sure if it is or not. I thought most of the John Deere filters were made by Donaldson, not Cummins. It's coming apart. In terms of the thickness of it, It's about 1.5, so it's quite thick compared to a lot of other things that we've seen. Got some on the microscope here to have a look at. So once again, those fibres are considerably smaller than a lot of your standard cellulose. And they'd certainly want to be to be a two micron fit. You can see it's all falling apart here where it's been torn, but comes apart. But fuel filled up. This is a pre-injector pump filled up. It's, so it's not a very, it's not under a whole lot of pressure at all. So I wouldn't really be worried about it coming apart. In terms of the housing, I'm not quite sure what metal this is. It's fairly light. Cans definitely steel, but I think it's probably aluminium. Now, center tube is plastic. It's got all these ribs. Another ceiling ring, but it's another one with a nice lip on the outside to keep it in. It's quite hard to get in and out really but overall it's quite a quite an interesting design quite a small micron rating and not not badly built either i can't see any issues with it good media good housing just interesting design